Okay guys, I just want to make a short little video here. Originally what I wanted to do was show you how to properly check all this, in my opinion, before you actually hook up your gauges. It's really important to take a core tool, which is the core remover tool. This one is an Appion. You might have a yellow jacket. You might have somebody else's brand that I know, I'm not aware of, but that's fine. As long as you have a core remover tool in your toolbox because these are really good you don't what you don't want to do is take a little screwdriver and just push it in there and check your core to see if it's tight you don't want to do that for two reasons number one you might accidentally push on that pin and you could release a tiny little bit of refrigerant yes it's a tiny bit but come on guys let's get responsible here we don't need to be re releasing any refrigerant whatsoever and I'm gonna show you what I mean so we're gonna put this on here first. We're gonna to check to make sure that our cores are tight. If they're tight and they're good in, in good condition, we can take this off. If they're not, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace those cores. Even if all they are is loose, we're gonna replace them. They cost 50 cents each. Do not leave those cores in. That's my opinion. Next thing I like to do. I like to take these service uh, valve caps off. I like to make sure that there's no little hiss of refrigerant when I do. The other thing I like to do is I like to take my, my service wrench and I got this nice little Hillmore adapter here that goes in my service wrench and that uh, really helps things out, makes the process go quicker. Um, so I like to backseat those and then I like to use a little Cal Blue Leak Soap here. This is nice thick stuff, big bubbles off of this and uh, I like to just soap that service valve before I put the cap back on and make sure that the, the gaskets in that service valve are not leaking. Okay, so back to our access ports. What we're gonna do here, guys, is I'm gonna show you this. This is a core depressor gas retention tool. This is not one of these. Again, this is a core remover tool, okay? This is a gas retention tool really neat guys so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna set my phone down here for a second so that I can use both hands and I'm gonna show you how I put everything together here now actually one other thing I like to show you is I am ready to hook up my gauges here so um, for me I have my Appian PT800 I have my Appian PT500. I like my wireless gauges. I also use the Testo Smart Probes. But I'll tell you what, guys. The thing about the Appian is you got this gauge face, okay? So when your Bluetooth isn't working, when your phone is low on battery, maybe you're taking phone calls, whatever, you can still watch your gauge while you're using your phone for other purposes or while you've lost the use of your phone. Okay, so I'm just going to set the phone down. And I'm going to prepare my gauges for hookup. And uh, so this is what we're going to do. Now, because my air conditioner, this train model, R22 unit, uh, for early, it was, I believe, manufactured in the early 2000s. Uh, it's a little low on clearance here. So before I actually hook up to my gas retention tool, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm just going to hook up this. This is my yellow jacket number 19209, low loss, 90 degree fitting, quarter inch. I'm going to turn my gauge on. Okay. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to hook all this like this up to the side port on this gas retention tool and I want to actually show you guys something there's no core in here okay there doesn't need to be and this is a really nice feature about this okay just watch now get that all snug up really nice okay there's gonna be no leaks in there there's no leaks in here alright now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this end right here 
It's an old fitting, swivel fitting, and we're going to hook that up to the air conditioner. And we want this end of the gas depression tool back seated, fully back seated. That means drive it all the way out this way. Okay? Back seated. Now, what we're going to do is, don't mind my hands in the blurry camera here guys we're gonna get that threaded on here now the nice thing is is and I want to show you this I'm I'm actually threading on to the service valve right now okay there we're tight on to the service valve You guys can see that all right but look at my gauge zero psi now watch watch that gauge face i'm gonna front seat this core depression tool okay there you go now we can read our pressures we can do whatever we need to do to this system i typically am going to be using these uh, core depression tools just for the purpose of pressure testing um, or not pressure testing but pressure checking uh, if you need to do vacuum if you're doing recovery if you're doing charging you may want to instead use something like this because you can get your cores out of the way but if all you want to do is check pressures and you don't want to release that refrigerant in any way that is not necessary then what you need is these and this little core depression tool that is a yellow jacket 19209 nope sorry 18993 gas retention valve and core depression valve very neat. $25. About 60 bucks gets you two of them. So, now we've checked our pressures. I'm going to just, thanks to my Honeywell Home app here, what I'm going to do is <laughs> drop my tablet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go cooling on and there we go my unit started up now this is an older R22 system so it, it's got no TX beyond it it's going to take a few minutes for those pressures to balance out here's the next cool part now I've checked my pressure I'm ready to disconnect but I'm not going to disconnect yet what I'm going to do is I'm going to back seat once again, you're going to backseat this gas depression tool. Okay? We're going to loosen this off to release pressure off the gauge. And I don't know if you heard that, guys, but there's just a little, little tiny bit when you disconnect. And there it is. There's my gauge. Okay. No refrigerant lease. No refrigerant release. And now I can take my core depression tool off. And thank you very much, Train, for the amazing amount of clearance on this unit. <laughs>